I'm Bill Vilberg, and this is another one of my Fun Friday videos. Today I'm looking at Radiolab. Radiolab is an NPR show that I have found incredibly stimulating, and if you're not familiar with it, take a minute, let me show it to you. To get to the show, I'm going to go to radiolab.org, radiolab.org. It's out of WNYC, New York City. The cut below the title is On a Curiosity Bender. <laughs> what a great title. Uh, if you're curious about things, you will love this show. On the right side, we've got the previous shows, Animal Minds, Numbers, um, an incredible show on, on numbers and things, Animal Minds, uh, can we attribute uh, feelings to animals and such, Parasites, just some great stuff. This is scrollable, so you can bring it down and see others, Stochasticity, my gosh, take a look at that one. Um, so-called life, placebo, unbelievable. Um, well, these are just amazing, and you can see the the range of topics that they cover. Each one is about an hour long. Now, I encourage you to go down a little further, and in this recent podcast section, there's a more button. I like that because it's a blog where they have a short mention, explanation of each show. You can click on this play button to stream the show to your computer. So if you're sitting in front of the computer, you can listen to it that way. You can download the MP3 file, that's the audio file, to your computer. And then you could put it on your iPhone, on your iPod, or any other MP3 music player, or just play it directly from your computer. If you want to use some one of these in class, you could save the MP3 on your USB drive, your little thumb drive, take it into class, plug it in, and play it from there. So downloading the MP3 gives you the ability to take the recording with you. Streaming means you have to be at the computer when you w listen to it. Um, Fu Manchu, uh, incredible, I mean so engrossing story of of a uh, an orangutan and its um, abilities and, and what what we can attribute to that uh, animal minds similar to the Fu Manchu thing do dogs look guilty are dogs aware of their guilt when they do something wrong placebos um, how amazing placebos are for uh, solving pain and doing other things in C my gosh a famous uh, piece that, that changed classical music and and they talk about it and then they talk about three different remixes of it and the people who did it um, I, I just am and so enthralled with all of these and numbers I've got to mention it um, many of our students at a university pick their major by how few math courses are involved um, and that's sad to me because I love numbers and mathematics, but I understand how they see it as just these rules that they have to learn. Well, this show will get them excited about numbers and how we don't know how everything works with numbers and we don't know how our mind deals with the number. Oh, it's just wonderful. Please take take an hour sometime and listen to it. There are four things about Radiolab that I think make it great. One, the non-traditional view of the subject. Um, whatever it is that they're going to talk about, um, they don't go to the traditional experts on this. They go to different people and follow a path and, 
and talk to people, but it's it's trying to understand it in a different way, uh, trying to um, deal with it not as a textbook does where everything is laid out and organized, but rather the way our mind works on a problem and tries to solve it. It's a dialogue. Two different people are sitting at a table and interviewing people or talking with each other or whatever. Robert Krolwich, um I have known him since ABC Monday, or the morning show, I think it was, and I say known him only that I listened to his explanations and loved his examples and his ability to teach. And Jad Amarbrod, um, his partner in crime in Radiolab, um, are, are both interesting. And the dialogue between the two of them means that you're allowed in your mind, or I'm allowed in my mind at least, to ask questions and, and they can't respond to them, but it, it brings me into this process. It is incredibly well produced. Great sounds, background music, um, it makes sense, there's short segments, uh, just the, the production value is of the highest quality. And then it opens my mind. It, it takes a subject that, that I may not be interested in and makes me realize how interesting it is, how fun it is to learn new things. It's one of those times that I'll be riding on the bus. I normally listen to it in the morning when I'm riding back and forth on the bus and I will break out laughing because they've drawn some analogy or, or made an explanation that is just fun and, and it's like being in kindergarten and first and second grade when learning is fun and and this is all there in about third grade the research shows we drive that out of children <laughs> and learning becomes boring um, this this can make pull it alive again and I encourage you to do it for yourself take advantage of this resource and if possible find some that have to do with your area of expertise, the subjects that you teach, find a couple of short clips, play them in class. I know it won't be right on task with the goal of covering everything in the book, but our students need to be opened up. They need to find learning exciting. They need to understand that there are relationships out there that aren't in the textbooks and that go beyond the things that we're doing. So I encourage you as a as a faculty member, if you are one, to, to take advantage of this resource. It's one of the frugal innovations that we've got available to us this day, these days that weren't there when I was in school. I'm Bill Vilberg. This has been another one of the Fun Friday videos. If you'd like to hear more, go to funfridayvideos.com. Today I talked about Radiolab. What a great resource. I hope you take advantage of it, and I hope you have a great week.